Howdy guys, this is Freezing Apple, and welcome back to Let's Play Paper Mario BP Only Run. Yay! supposed to be something here. Oh yeah! A balcony. No point in this game. Falling paper though. I like I like that whole effect. I just see paper falling. Oh yeah, I do not have my hand. Oh my back! Hmm, was that that you Mario? I remember a great crashing noise and then the veranda collapsed and I fell. Did you fall too? Just stepped out and out the door into the air, did you? Well, we're both okay. Problem is, we can't get home because the block is in the way. This block, this block shouldn't be here. Well, this is a problem for us. No, a hammer? Oh, of course. Um, where did it go? He's using it to fix the veranda, so it's likely around us somewhere. But where to be seen? I guess it must have fallen somewhere over there. Mario, be fair, look for it. Now we all know that Kamek probably placed that block there, but why didn't she just hide the hammer just behind the block? Then, sh then they would have won. They would have won. You could easily jump over the block, but well, Mario is not that smart. The hammer has got to be somewhere close by. It looks just like this. Look for bushes that might cover it up. If he appears over your head, you can press A to search. Well, in this case, the button is green. Uh, no. Yeah, what's this one? No. This one? No, that's a coin. I like to get a coin, though. Coins are nice. You're gonna need coins if you're gonna do the only one. And there's your hammer. You found the hammer! Mari can do the hammer attack now. You can smash a yellow block with this hammer! Oh, there we go. That's it. That's the hammer. I'll wager that if you use that the hammer, you can break the block that's in a way. You can also use the hammer to hit trees and make them sway. Sometimes stuff will fall out. You can use it by pressing B. Now that's actually a hint for something that isn't one of these tweets. Just hit every block you want. And there's another coin if you want it. I want it. Another coin. So you can you grab all the coins. Eh, probably make, make, uh, yeah, like 20 coins. And that's pretty good. So hit this tree, and a doll comes out. A duddy. An adorable doll that looks exactly like Princess Peach. Only with orange, orange hair. Oh well now, I believe that's the dolly that Gumbario said she lost. She no doubt be overjoyed if you gave it back to her. So many people lose things all over the place, you know. It almost makes one feel like her looking around everywhere. Which we are basically doing right now. It's like the tutorial guy, it is like inconveniently saying the things. Hmm, well, we found a hammer, so I guess we should head home. Ouch! Who are you guys? This is my playground, idiots. Nobody sets foot in here without my permission. Nobody! You better start crying and defeat the mess of Junior Trooper. And this is your first real fight. Mario, this is Junior Krupa. He's the boss of the neighborhood gang. A bit of a bully, obviously. He's more bark than bite, you can beat him easily. Just boost yourself up and don't take any lip. I'll stay right here behind you and watch your progress. Now that gang of hooligans he was talking about, you actually did not see those that gang of hooligans. You'll only get to see this guy. Oh, excellent! Good move! Go on! Uh, this battle looks kind of a really, really boring fight. I'll go through the hammer though. Well, just to show the animation. Really boring fight. I think you have to hit him like five times. Yeah, I think so. Hey, I'm just getting warmed up. Mashing the A button is fun. 
You should all do it once in your life. Mashing an A button. Or not, because then you will skip everything. FULL POWER! Wee! Wow, two damage. Yeah, you'll likely get into danger. I think it's unavoidable to get into danger. But yeah, you get the 20 nice little star points. Mario, that was a wonderful fighting. You got star points. You got star points every time you beat an enemy. Every time you see a hundred star points, you'll go up a level. Always too hard to get points. That's kind of how the experience works in this game. Star points. Shoot! I was gonna. W I was winning too. I'll be mad, Mario. I think I'm changing his voice like. One. I mean it! I'll be back! I think I could have done a better impression. I'll be back! Yeah, that's more like it. Hitting a block like a man, Mario! Ta-ta! You got your first mushroom. Yeah, if you're hitting trees, you'll get a lot of secret... Well, they're not really secret, but uh, you get a lot of extra items. Which are nice if you're doing with BP on run. Items are essential in a DP only run. Seriously, believe me. This is actually the first time I'm doing the DP only run of this game. I already did one for uh, Fake Mario 1000 Theodore. Never finished it as a let's play, but I finished it myself. Even though I had to go to Danger Mario. Heads up, Mario! I see bad Goombas ahead. They're loyal to Bowser. If they see you, they'll attack with you without hesitation. If you can successfully attack an enemy and you feed it with a jump or hammer, you get the first strike when you enter the battle. Striking first really helps when it comes to battling. Yeah, especially later battles. Like, the battles right now, uh, they don't really care, but later on, later on, they do really care. It's kind of nice to do a uh, first strike in this first battle so they can uh, go much faster. And most likely, as my other let's play of Paper Mario 1000 Euro, I will be cutting out enemies that you've already seen. So I guess we're ready to that. Get him your hammer, and you get the first strike. Pretty obvious thing, too. This is Spike Goomba. See a spike in his head? Be careful not to jump on him. You definitely get hurt. You gotta jump on him. No, you actually don't. You have to hammer him. And you die. Yay. Actually, these spiked Goombas give you one more star point than the Goombas, even though that you won't pay any attention to that later on, because then they will only get like one star point, if you're grinding on Goombas, that is. But you're probably grinding on other enemies then. So yeah, Para Goombas. These are kind of like Paratroopas in other Mario games. This is not Mario, the enemy's flying. Your hammer won't reach enemies in the air. To attack airborne enemies, use a jump attack. You can jump over one enemy to attack one behind the two. This is good advice, remember it. Yep, it's really good advice, so you, you really do have to remember it. I don't like to get them both in the ground, I don't know, it just doesn't look right. If there's one on the ground and one in the air. Would it be more smart if I actually, like, hit him like this? But I think Paragumas can actually hurt twice. Or are those para... Yeah, okay, I think those are para troopers that can hit twice if they attack you from the air. Or maybe it was three, I don't even know anymore. But yeah, what I'm kind of trying to do here in this let's play is giving many information on how to do a BP only run and stuff. Well, one essential thing of BP only running is, well, you need the badges. That's pretty obvious already. And you need a good amount of luck. Sometimes too. Especially when later bot boss battles, I mean, they just get annoying. They're already annoying if you're not for BP only running. And wow, he just gave me one freaking coin. And you can get your first star piece here. It's a glowing star piece. Wait and see what this is for. Or wait uh, wait for the freezing apple to explain it to you guys. What I'm actually gonna do now, since I have nothing else to talk about. Star pieces you're gonna change for badges, which are really helpful in a BB only run. So I advise getting every star piece in this game. 
Oh, is that thing locked? Let me open it up for you. Yay, he opened our door. Koopa, where have you been? I looked outside and wow, both of you and Greta were just playing golf. Koopa was very, very worried about you, really worried. Sorry, Kurt, I apologize. I didn't mean to break your fret. And just take it easy now. Or take a CC. I'm back safe and sound. I didn't even know that's even a catchphrase in America or stuff. No! Before I forget, I've decided to give you something, Mario. Wait here just a minute. And while he gets his stuff, you're gonna check. Huh? Hey, the doll you got. That's what Divine Kumbari lost. She was looking all over for it. Would you give it back to her? Hmm. Hmm. No! Oh, that's just me, Mario. I guess you can just give it back when you're done with it. You always seem to beat up your enemies. Do you work out? I study self-defense for reading books by the masters and listening to Dan and Goomba. And I've also exercised every day so I can be strong like you. It's starting to show too. I'm getting big muscles. Yeah, Gumbarius head is hard as a rock now. Gee. When he does his head bump move, it really, really hurts. Oh, be quiet, Gumbaria. You're embarrassing me. Of course it is, too. Well, someone doesn't like to blow another balloon. Sorry to have kept you waiting, Mario. It's okay, Goomba. We're just rapping with Mario. Well, I guess you're really a gangster, huh? Oh, rapping? Oh, uh, sorry, I want to give this to Mario. If you're confused by the word rapping, I don't care, because I'm too. This is called a badge. If you wear this, you'll be able to do a power jump, which means you will be able to do a lot more damage with your jump attack. But listen here and listen well. You'll only be able to do it if you're wearing the badge. Very ugly stuff there, there, Sherlock. You better try it first. Putting badges on and taking them off is a vital skill. Would you like a quick lesson on how to use the badges and to you collect during your travels? No! You better listen, Mario. This is really important. Can I please give you a brief lesson in badges? No! Alright, I trust you. Now remember, you need FP, power points, to use this power jump technique. Do you remember that we, what we saw? A block like this on the way to the village? All those blocks will restore not only HP, but also FP. They're lifesavers, Mario. Use them whenever your HP and FP reserves are getting low. Later on, Daddy, they cast money. By the way, Mario, I heard from Kuma. You're taking it up on yourself to try to rescue the princess from Bowser's clutches. Oh yeah, Mario can beat Bowser with one hand tied behind his back. Well, I don't think that's gonna happen this time. Yeah. Hush now, Mario. Mario, please take this hammer. It should serve you well. If I were just a bit younger, I'd accompany you on your trip. I've, I'd have done some damage. The years have started to weigh on me, though. I'll tell you, there's lower back pain. Adventure? You are so lucky. Princess rescuing is so cool. I really want to be an adventurer too someday. Me too! Oh, here's an idea. Comporio! Perhaps the time is perfect. You're no longer a child, and evil times are upon us. I'm sure Mario will agree. You should, you should accompany Mario. What, really? May I go, Goompa? May I really go? Yes! Oh yeah! Mario, you won't regret this. You won't regret this. Into the next part.